I'm getting ready to do a couple little floral, what Patsy, or if any of you knew Patsy in the past, would call a floral tribute. It's little floral arrangements for our, one of our events coming up this week, and they were so simple I had to tell you about them. Let me show you the supplies you need. You need some kind of container. I'm using a terracotta pot and a little plastic beverage cup inside the pot to hold water because the pot has a hole in the bottom, so you must have something in the bottom to keep your plants moist. I went out in the garden this morning and scrounged because it is October and it's been raining for days and it's getting colder and there's a little bit of stuff left in the garden. And I, the thing that looked the best was the marigolds. They are still blooming to beat the band, so I picked some of those. I picked some um, heirloom coxcomb. A neighbor gave me these seeds, and they come up, you know, they're, um, they come up from seed every year, so they are basically a perennial. And then Patsy, who is my garden buddy, gave me several beautyberry bushes a couple years ago, and so I'm going to put a little be beautyberry in. And then I scrounged around for a little bit of extra color and I have a couple of Dracaena plants in the house, house plants, and I thought, boy, that's a pretty lime green. Maybe I could add that. So I'm going to put together a little group for you real quickly. Oh, one item I forgot is this is reindeer moss and it's growing down the path by my house and I thought, oh my gosh, I've got to stop and pull some of that and I'll show you how we're going to use the reindeer moss. You have to clean it up a little bit because it does have pine straw and stuff in it. I'm going to start by just picking the best marigolds. Now this is the end of the season, so not all of them are going to be the greatest. And I just take regular scissors and cut them apart. And then I pull off the greenery that's going to be below the water line. It'll just keep your water fresher and your plants will last a little bit longer. So this is real simple. You don't have to trim everything off and you don't even have to use a tool. You just need to um, pull all the, the lower leaves off with your hands. Now the beauty berry comes where the leaves are actually growing out of the berries. Well, I basically want the berry to show and not all the leaves. So I just cut all these little leaf projections, leaf projections from the center of the berry. And there, there's my beauty berry. And then my coxcomb, I don't want it to be too big because these are small arrangements. So I sort of approximate my length I'm going to, going to need and I trim my lower greenery off of that too. And um, I might need a little bit more marigold. So we'll, we'll trim another piece of marigold and quickly trim these things off. And then the last thing we're going to add is we're going to add two of the Dracaena leaves. So now I'm going to show you how easy this is to put together. I sort of start with the berries and the coxcomb because they're the heaviest pieces in the arrangement and I want them to sort of stay together. Then I'm going to surround them with some of the marigolds because they're a little bit lighter in weight and will help support the heavier weight items. And then finally I'm going to add the dracaena leaves. And then I thought, well how am I going to hold all this together in this um, beverage cup that I've put in my little clay pots? So I decided just to get a piece of twine. It can be it can be white twine, it can be wire, it can be whatever you have because you're not going to see it. It's going to be down in the cup and below the water line. So I just took the two dracaena leaves, put on the side, took and loosely, oh, I pretty much cinched it, it together to hold the, um, the plants in place and just did a bow in it, any kind of knot bow, whatever you want to do, and then there is my little arrangement. All right, so then I've got all kinds of different stem, stems hanging down here, and I want them basically to be about the same size so they'll fit in the cup nicely, and they might need a little bit of placement and arrangement. So the next thing you do is set it in your cup. Now if I set it like that, it just sort of wants to flop a little bit. So this is where the reindeer moss is the neatest thing. If you have any growing on the roadside close to where you live, grab it. You can lay it out on newspaper, let it dry, and you can just store it and keep it and always put it on the top of your arrangements or your orchids or whatever and it's called reindeer moss. And I was so thrilled to find it on my path which was so exciting because you have to buy this stuff. Most florists buy this stuff and, and it's right there growing here at Lake Gaston. So then I just go around my pot, put a little reindeer moss, just cut it off and trim any of the old or pull any of the old. Um, see the bottom's going to look pretty dark and yucky. You don't want to use that. You want to make sure that you, you know, take off some of that yucky looking stuff. And there you go. Now I need to add water and I'm done. So what about a five minute arrangement maybe? 
So this is something you can easily do. Doesn't take any floral talent. You're not going to have to say, oh my gosh, I've got to go buy this and that. Hopefully you can scrounge in your garden or in your neighbor's garden. And so I hope you enjoy this. Maybe you can use it for the fall holidays coming up. Thanks. This is Mary Sherwood from Mary Sherwood Lake Living. We have great ideas for your holidays coming up. Just give us a call if we can help with your home decorating and entertaining needs. Thanks.